Hi Gemini's, welcome back to the channel guys. This week's reading guys, we're doing something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see if I can tap into the person that you are focused in on. Who is always on your mind that you're focusing in on. I want to tap their energy and see what their current feelings and intentions towards you are. Mm. This week we're going to use the Tarot Grand Lux and I'm going to use the Gilded Tarot. Both are Ciro Marchetti's decks. But this one is for clarifying anything that I need. Let's jump in guys. Y'all focus your energy onto your person. Let's see who's going to come in the strongest for me right now. This is for my Geminis. Let's find out current feelings. Let's get a little bit about circumstances around them and their life. But also, intentions, intentions. Gemini's person, talk to us. It's ready. Let's go. Ooh, pop. We've got a moon card. Ooh, moon. Moon. Hang on. Queen of Wands, Divine Feminine Aries energy showing up, Gemini. Mm hmm what else? Talk to us. Ooh, pop. King of Wands energy, Leo showing up. Leo. King of Wands, keep talking. Talk to me. Pop. Got Libra Justice card showing up. Hold on, it's got one standing with it. Aquarius Star card. What else? Talk to us. Gemini's part pop. Six of Cups, card of nostalgia, sometimes represents children, guys. Hang on. Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Mm. You guys, okay. With these top three cards, is t this is... This is telling me, y'all know the moon card is about subconscious fears, but it can also be about patterns. Patterns. Hmm, this may be a redo with someone. Hmm. But their feelings are, you're the divine couple. Divine couple. Mm -hmm. Perfect meant for each other. You got a, a fire and a flare for life, as they would put it, Gemini. Uh, so, yeah, somebody is definitely on fire. There's a lot of passion and chemistry that goes on between us, but we are a dynamic couple together uh, when it comes to um, building and manifesting things together. We're in very much in sync with each other. Uh -huh. Perfect couple, a perfect match. But the fact that they're th Gemini, you're an air energy when they're throwing you into the fire, into a fire energy like that is telling me that things are very, very heated up between the two of you. Mm -hmm. Got a lot, lot of feelings. Down here is telling me about circumstances around them right now. We've got that Libra Justice card in the future. Aquarius faith and hope for the future uh, but what what's standing in the way of the faith and the hope for the future <laughs> yeah stepping through that portal has something to do with balance Libra and truth could be legal issues things like that and then we we've uh, got the card of the past for some of us that is that your person is focused in on like I said it may be a redo in this situation with this person wanting to reconnect with you but for some of us it may actually represent children that children somehow children are involved and so like i said for there's something about that libra and y'all know what libra energy is it's about balancing truth justice um legal stuff things like that mm -hmm. so right now what's hind hindering uh going forward into the future or your person is just simply stressed about it and thinking you know creating scenarios that the future is going to be hindered hindered by that energy mm -hmm. and over here they it's got them focused on teamwork blueprint working together work manifesting something but getting clear think blueprint with this one guys uh, are, do we have the same plan and the same desires to move forward on something? Are we in sync with each other? 
Ooh. So they are focused in on work when it comes to circumstances. Their chil children or past is uh, coming up in circumstances form. And then this is the pivotal energy, some the justice covering that stepping into the future. Mm, okay. So they definitely feel this God twin flame connection with us. I mean, they throw you into fire energy. Ooh, that that is you know like twin flame energy. Mm. Let's see what uh, and then when we look at this one, let's let's pop in on that one. Let's do their intentions intentions with that uh focusing in on work and the blueprint the plan and working together to create something to build something together Let's see what they're saying on that one intentions they're overwhelmed right now a little bit and they're confused they don't really know uh, exactly what to what to choose what direction to go in they're a little bit overwhelmed uh it, that'll pop us back up here to our divine couple here. Um, they're more than likely holding you in this energy, Gemini. Of You lead the way for a minute. You lead the way. You give me some direction and I'm there. I'm going in it. If you just you know, lead, give me the direction so I'm not, not feeling so overwhelmed and confused. Not knowing what to do. So yeah, their intentions is, is uh, pivoting on... Uh, what course of action and direction you want to take things in and they're like bam i'm on it they jump on it the leo energy is a pounce jump energy so yeah Ooh, communications victory also victory card winning winning at this but communications is imperative right now and somebody does feel emotionally vulnerable and this may actually bring in for any of us that it resonates that that six of cups was children that would be uh they don't know exactly what to do because there may be children involved and the, and um they need you to help them make decisions about that because they wouldn't, you know, they want to win over children. They want to do what's right for children. When this, they're trying to think clearly about things, but they, their emotions are pushing them to where they may not be able to think, actually slow down. Because like I said, we got pounce energy on that king up here. They, their emotions may have them pouncing out, doing the wrong thing, saying the wrong thing. Uh, and uh, they, they'll they need you to ground them, slow them down, so they, think they can think without all the confused emotions, overwhelmed emotions. And the emotions doesn't always mean that it's a bad, bad. It may be they're on fire to rush into something, to rush something, to do something without thinking, thinking it through, thinking the plan, you know, how, how it affects going out into the future they need to slow down balance so ooh, that puts a new meaning on our justice card over here for us on that uh libra energy for us uh, gemini is you balancing them out when it comes to the clear path going forward in this connection and building something together so yeah ooh, okay i don't feel like i really need to clarify anything guys we know their feelings we already know their feelings. And they are overwhelmed with emotions when it comes to us and may rush ahead on things. And like I said, they need you to balance them out and slow them down because they do feel emotionally vulnerable. And what I mean by emotionally vulnerable, guys, the page energy, I mean, you could be drunk in love. Just drunk in love that makes you vulnerable. Uh, you, you know, that's all you know. You're a slave of love through innocence. You're acting out in an innocent way. But this person's got a lot of pouncy taking action. Uh, coming at us energy. So, yeah. And they just need us to help them direct that energy. Our queen will help uh, help the king direct the energy. Where to put the energy. What to focus in on. Things like that. So, just remember... Uh, it's imperative the communications that we're communicating with each other right now. Uh, clearly, <laughs> communicating with each other right now. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and pull uh, Maruk X's deck up here. 
I'm going to ask your person just to simply, there's no question to it, it's just simply pull out three cards that has significance or importance to them right now. Let's see what we're going to get. Let's get three of them if we can. Ooh, let's move a deck out of my way because it's bumping my hand. There we go. Okay, Gemini's person. Three cards. Three cards. We got our first one here. Opening up. I closed the door before, but I'm now ready to let you in. Ooh. So, that, like I said, this that moon card may uh, be representing some of our... Uh, a little bit of fear, but it is phases of patterns, going in a pattern every day. What else? What else? Pop. Revealing. I'm ready to express what's been on my mind. Mm. Ooh. You might, uh, communication is, yeah. Express what's on your mind. Help them get their clarity. And then, new perspective. I'm seeing us with new eyes. It's all so clear now. Ooh, yeah. Gemini's. Wow. Let's get a message from your person, guys. I'm going to use the All Things Intuitive's deck, The Hidden Truth. We're going to ask them for one up to three cards. Yes. Just a brief message from them. Let's get the, again. There we go. That's better. Talk to us. What do you want to say to my Gemini's? Bring it out. Bring it out. That one don't want to let go of me. I don't react when people mention you. Hmm. Don't react when people mention you. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, I almost wanted to say it in past tense. I'm becoming a better person. Any more? One more if you want to. Bring it out for us. I hid who I really am from you. Ooh, they're talking from the past, I think. Yes, they are. Ooh, Gemini says, all I have for us, cousin. Sending you love and light. Many, many blessings, as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I see you again next time. Let's be.